are probably relief um, in the sense that look, we, we, it's been well documented the last two weeks we've kind of suffered from late goals that, that have cost us heavily um, and, and the game kind of was in the balance I guess in, in some ways up until we scored although look, I think anybody watching the game would, would conclude that, that we dominated yeah. um, we, we created numerous chances uh, from the very beginning of the game so I think there was there was a lot of relief when the when the first goal went down and then and then when you put the second one away, um, it just gives you that wee bit of that wee bit of space you can can relax a wee bit. So r relief and, and delighted delighted for the players uh, that were back in one ways again. And even at that, um, as you just said there, um, the last couple of weeks was tough, but again. Those performances, we could have easily took something out of. Well, I think that's the thing, and you're always looking just to have a consistency in your performance level. I think that's been there even even after the, the run of games that we went on and won, um, and we suffered a couple of defeats, but we were still playing well. I mean, the the, the even the draw uh, here against Mandela, we played particularly well. The the late loser against Newington again was a great performance, and down at Stewart was a different type of performance, but we were unlucky not to take something away. So. It's that thing, if you keep performing like that, then the results will go your way more often than they won't. So hopefully that's the beginning of it. Um, some really, really big individual performances there today. Jimmy Dunn picked up man of the match. Uh, he, he was electric second half. He was really, really unplayable. And then I think the the, the highlight of the day for me is young Dylan Boyle coming yeah. through the academy and scoring his first goal. Very unlucky out here against Newington not to score. Um, but he took his goal exceptionally well today and, and look, he's, he's delighted and we're all delighted for him. And again, looking at that, he also had we Nicky Collin on the bench there the day. Yes. Ian's coming through the academy, so it's good to see the boys like that. Well, I suppose it proves, it proves that there, there's a pathway for young players to come through and play championship football here at Baldemollard. So, um, Boiler getting his, his, his start last week at Student did well. Uh, coming off a of base today and scoring, and then Nicky Conn didn't get a huge amount of game time, but he's knocking on the door, he's in squads, he's in training with us all the time, so his moment will come too, I'm sure of that. Again, he's a talented boy, so, uh, and there's others there, there's Aaron Smiten, there, there, there's, there's Nick Palmer, there's Adam McCreary, there's Ben Arnold, there's Shane Speak, there's lots of young players that are knocking on the door, so hopefully Bowder's goal today gives them a wee bit of hope that they can come and produce on the first team stage as well. And just touching on that, now we have another tough test ahead of ourselves next Saturday with uh, ours up at Bangor, but it's a ground we performed reasonably well at this season. What's your thoughts going into that? Look, uh, it's difficult. Uh, up there is a difficult game. You, you kind of, Arts, uh, Arts beat Dundella two two games ago, 4-0, and lost four, then they lost 4-1 today. So, uh, Arts can be like that. You, you can get a really kind of difficult day against them, and then other days they, they can see a lot of goals. So, look, we just need to prepare right. So we had a good week this week, Tuesday and Thursday, we train in. We, we go on on Tuesday and Thursday again and prepare right. Um, hopefully everybody's fit and healthy with a full deck to pick from and we'll just get ready uh, to go to ours next Saturday. Cheers Tommy, thanks for your time and all the best next week.